Every year, in order to get ready, wildlife and land management is crucial to your success come hunting season. With Cabela's long-standing tradition of understanding what it takes to help you manage your property, we've invited Justin Bryan, Cabela's Southwest Regional Wildlife Biologist, to lend a hand to both Cody Levy and Will Cooper. And I'm going to be working with Will and Cody today. They've been working on various fishing shows and hunting shows throughout the year. But what they haven't been able to do is spend some time on the Cabela's LM50 tractor. And what I want to do is get with them today and show them how easy it is to use the tractor and to go through various implements, how to run it, how to be safe on it. So let's start at the front. You know, on the front we've got the bucket, just about every tractor everybody has. The loader arms and the quick detach, you can just pop these two up. The bucket comes off at that point we can put on pallet forks we can put on a bell spear there's quite a bit of different attachments we can put on it but it's a nice easy way to detach and keep it going. cody and i've both never really driven a track before we've gotten to drive it here and there around camp but it wasn't going to be too hard just from seeing wade and justin and everybody else get on the tractor it didn't seem that daunting of a task for for a guy that's never driven a tractor my advice would be not to overthink things you know now on the rear of the tractor we've got our three point attachment so you got point one two, three, and that's how we're going to attach all of our rear implements, such as the disc, doesn't matter if it's a cedar, could be the backhoe, they're all going to attach right here as your main attachment point. Really this is the back of the tractor, we can move to the seat and where everything's controlled and show you guys how that works. It, it looks a little confusing and hard to run, but once Justin taught us how to do everything and the ins and outs of the tractor, it was pretty easy getting out there today and discing this field. Just like driving a car, you've got your key, turn it on. You've got your brake pedal on this particular tractor, on tractors in general. You've got two separate brake pedals. If you wanted to brake this side and more or less do a zero turn, you could do that. Same thing with the left side. If we want to go forward, we just engage the clutch, push that forward, it's going to be in drive. When you want to go in reverse, stop the tractor, push the clutch in, pull it down, it's going to go in reverse, it's going to beep so you know it's in reverse. And you're ready to go. Once that clutch comes up, you're going to start rolling. Give it a little gas and you're rolling. All right, now that we know how to run the tractor, the bucket's really simple. This arm really runs north, south, east, and west. So to raise the bucket, you're gonna pull it back. It's gonna raise the bucket, push the bucket down, push it north. Getting to come out here and work on the fields that we hunt over, it's really nice to come out here and work on these, put all the hard work into it because deer hunting isn't just something that's lasts as long as football season. It's something that lasts year round. And later on in the season, getting to see the fruits of our labors, it's, it's real rewarding. It's pretty special and I feel like I, I'm a lot closer to the hunt than just coming on a field and you know, trying my luck. So um, I'm pretty excited to see what, uh, what we can do, you know, seeding wise and how it'll grow and uh, reap the benefits when it comes time. Guys did pretty good. They uh, kept pretty safe on it. I think they figured out it was pretty simple and easy to run a tractor. And uh, after you know, spending a little bit of time on it, they were able to figure out how to listen to the tractor and respond to whether it was gurgling a little bit or whether it was pulling right. They, they, they were able to hear it and to feel what the tractor was doing. So overall, it's a pretty good job. Go to cabelas.com forward slash WLM for more info about wildlife and land management and go more in depth with all the tractors, implements, and products that Cabela's has to offer.